today I'd like to discuss with you some of the common cardiac conditions. The most common cardiac conditions are number one, coronary artery disease. This is disease or damage of the coronary arteries, which are the major blood vessels of the heart. Secondly, hypertension. This is also known as high blood pressure. High blood pressure in which the pressure of the blood flowing through the arteries is increased, the force is increased. Uh, number three, cardiac arrest. This is sudden unexpected loss of heart function, breathing and consciousness. Number four, congestive heart failure. This is failure of the heart to pump sufficient blood to the rest of the part of the body. That means the heart is not able uh, to pump effectively as it should. Number five, arrhythmias. This is improper beating of the heart. Now I will talk about two of these common cardiac conditions. Number one, coronary artery disease. Number two, hypertension. So first, coronary artery disease. This is uh, accounting for one fifth of the deaths in India and the prevalence is rapidly increasing. Um, there is an estimated 45 million patients in India suffering from coronary artery disease. There are a few risk factors for coronary artery disease that you should be aware of. We can divide this into two groups. One, risk factors that can be changed or uh, altered potentially with medication and the other risk factors that cannot be changed or altered. Now, the risk factors that cannot be changed or altered are sex, age and family history. By sex, we mean male or female. If you're a man, you have much higher chances of developing coronary artery disease than your counterpart, females. Now, age. Those over 40 years of age have a higher incidence of developing coronary artery disease than younger people. And lastly, family history. By family history, we mean that uh, there is a history of coronary artery disease in your parents or maternal, paternal blood relatives. Then there are risk factors that are potentially changeable with treatment. These are hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes mellitus, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, tobacco chewing, smoking, heavy alcohol consumption, and uh, consumption of oral contraceptive pills. So if you have any of these conditions, you are automatically at a higher risk of developing coronary artery disease and therefore you should get treatment for these conditions so that the risk factors are reduced. Now secondly, I'd like to discuss about hypertension. Hypertension is also known as high blood pressure and it is defined as a systolic blood pressure of more than and equal to 140 millimeters of mercury and a diastolic blood pressure of more than and equal to 90 millimeters of mercury. The prevalence of uh, hypertension is approximately 30% in herbal and 15% in rural India and its prevalence is rapidly increasing. It is the most prevalent chronic disease of India and uh, its treatment is absolutely important. Now a very common misconception amongst people who come for treatment is that they feel they can take the medication or lifestyle modification just for one to two weeks and after that they can discontinue their treatment. That is not so. Hypertension is a lifelong chronic disease. You need to specifically take treatment lifelong, whether it is dietary modification, exercise, or through medication. That can be best uh, taken care of by your doctor. So please, please, please make sure that you take whatever treatment is required for hypertension and do not discontinue it without the permission of your doctor. Lastly, I'd like to discuss hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia is increased amounts of cholesterol or triglycerides in the blood. This can be easily diagnosed by a simple blood test and it can be treated by medication. This is also a risk factor for coronary artery disease and very common in India once again. So this should be treated hand in hand. So it is important for every individual over 40 years of age to have an annual cardiac checkup. ECG is a recording of a person's heartbeat on a paper. TMT is exercise stress test, which is done on a treadmill. We make you walk on the treadmill and we record your heartbeat, your blood pressure and uh, breathing. And uh, it can be assessed accordingly whether you have any risk of developing coronary artery disease. And lastly, ECO. This is ultrasonic examination of the heart 
and uh, we do it on an ultrasound machine and it can tell you about the functioning and the anatomy of the heart.